Uh, anyway, moving on. So just how safe is your home? That is the question that residents of one Adelaide suburb are asking after being told they'll need to leave their houses amid fears of chemical contamination. Trichloroethylene, or TCE, is a cancer-causing industrial solvent. It's harmful to the human nervous system, the kidneys and liver, the male reproductive system, and can cause abnormalities in developing fetuses. TCE is also the reason that residents from 25 homes in the Adelaide suburb of Clavelli Park have been told to get out by Christmas. I certainly don't want to leave. But health-wise, I don't want to be sick either and I don't want to be a vegetable in a bed or in a nursing home. I worked in a nursing home. Authorities say that the move is precautionary, stressing that the quantity of airborne TCE detected inside homes is thousands of times lower than those allowed in a workplace. At these levels, we're talking about long-term exposure, risk and exposure over years to decades. So although we feel we need to take action, it's actually a long-term exposure risk. But news of the forced relocations comes just days after the US EPA branded trichloroethylene a harmful substance. It's the first time the agency has issued such an assessment since 1986. Back then, the substance in question was asbestos. The toxic contamination in Clavelli Park is the legacy of auto parts maker Munro, who were using TCE in the area in the 1960s before homes were built there. I think they have known for quite some time because there's some houses that have been empty for a long time, so I think they... No, this has been coming. In 2012, in the Melbourne suburb of Can Lee, residents were outraged when it was revealed that groundwater around their homes was contaminated with chemicals from an old explosives factory. They were never warned of any risk. In 2013, in Sydney's Ford Botany, residents were warned of potentially dangerous build-ups of mercury from a nearby Orica industrial site. So as cities expand and once industrial areas are replaced with housing estates, how do we know the homes we're living in are safe? Well, Professor Ed Blakely is a world leader in urban planning and he joins us now. Ed, generally speaking, do you think enough is being done to make sure that old industrial areas are safe before we build homes on them? Well, they generally are tested very carefully. There's a three-stage process. The first process is to look through the records to see what was on the property. And that'll tell you the kind of contaminants that might have been there. Sometimes these sites are fallow and you don't see anything. And then there's a process of digging onto the site to see if you uncover anything. And then, of course, there's the boring. And that's done almost everywhere. But what you cannot detect is moving contaminants that might move through the water, or they might even move because the soil is disturbed uh, when the building's going on. Professor, do you think that the shortage of housing in uh, our cities perhaps means that some of these residential projects are being rubber stamped sooner than they should be? Well, I wouldn't say they're rubber stamped sooner than they should be, but I would say that we started doing this process uh, recently much more thoroughly than we did it in the past. Science in this whole area is evolving very rapidly, both in the detection side and in the mitigation side. So I would say people used the best knowledge they had, but at that time, it just wasn't good enough. Uh, you mentioned contaminated water systems there. Have you ever seen a fish with three eyes? <laughs> I haven't, <laughs> but I'm sure they're around. Um, there are all kinds of things that are happening in nature today, as you know. I'm not Charles Darwin, so I haven't seen that, but I will be looking for it, okay. uh, but not under my house. Well, the three-eyed fish would certainly be a giveaway. Professor, thanks very much for your time tonight. Thank you.